And we continue to keep you weather aware. Things really kind of getting dangerous in Madison, Delaware yeah. counties right yeah, now. Parts of Hamilton County as well here. Uh, just way too much rain right. too quickly. I uh, want to show you a scene. This is from Anderson earlier oh, from wow. Micah. And Micah says his brother that's standing there is about six foot two. This is uh, this is Gregory, that intersection of Gregory and Eastern. So uh, one of many cities that are that are in danger here. Uh, now these are radar rain estimates. OK, uh, we've got some ground truth from Alexandria of near seven inches plus of rainfall here, uh, mostly from today. All right, so these are the flash flood warnings. Anderson, Yorktown, Muncie, Alexandria, Elwood got hit very hard. These flash flood warnings go back to Arcadia and Cicero. If you're in some of those warnings, your cell phone got alerted because of the elevated uh, risk of uh, life threatening flooding here. So we're going from Parker City to Muncie. That axis right there, that's about two inch per hour rain rates. So it is going to make the flooding that's already happening even worse over the next two to three hours. So please stay off the roads. I've had folks in Muncie saying they're getting some of the rain coming through the roof. The roads are in terrible shape there. Um, Going to get a break there in Elwood, but that axis from Cicero to Muncie has us very concerned here this evening. Now around the metro area, burst of heavy rain moving through Greenwood and heading towards Shelbyville, but it's quick moving versus that band that goes from east to west. Uh, in those flash flood zones going to cash in here from Ellettsville and Bloomington. Again, I don't not overly concerned with with uh, flooding with this because of the speed. But until this thing can uh, break up and that might take another hour, unfortunately, uh, it is going to make things much, much worse. Sticks out like a sore thumb on the radar rain estimates storm total here for the weekend. We wanted some rain. We just didn't want this much, way too much, and that's what's causing the flooding. But it is going to put a big, big dent uh, in this uh, summer drought that we're experiencing here. Temperatures in check today in the lower 70s. Here's future track 13, so we'll get rid of the downpours probably by midnight. Tomorrow, what we see is going to be much more widely scattered. Now, this is only for Indianapolis just to show you. Uh, we had about a half an inch of rain, one of our wettest days of summer, but we're still in the hole here. Your forecast for Monday is going to be rather humid. Daytime highs that will be in the mid 80s. We're going to go from the mid 80s to the mid and upper 90s on Wednesday with heat indices anywhere from 100 to 105. It is just a little hint of what's on the way. Uh, we are going to start to dry out. We're going to turn up the heat here. In fact, going into next weekend, we could have highs approaching 100. We're going to have heat indices above that. So we're going to switch gears here, but please take these flash flood warnings seriously if your phone went off and we'll keep you updated throughout the evening here.